Hey, what's going on everyone? Just got back from Whole Foods and the farmer's market kind of thing. It wasn't really a farmer's market. It was what? It was like a nursery or something? Someone's farm? Yeah, somebody's farm. Somebody's farm. What did we get at the farm? Oh, dude. Amazing stuff. Longans. Got really oranges. good oranges. Got longans, got oranges, got rambutans from that. Um, pineapples. Pineapples. The world's best pineapples. World's best pineapples. They're patented pineapples. They're you, so sick. You can't buy these pineapple, pineapples anywhere. So else. They're called uh, honey cream. I bought pretty much all of the head. Honey cream pineapples. In fact, when you buy them, you have to buy them without the top because they don't sell you the top. Because if you they sell you the top, you're gonna go plant your own pineapples. That's how good these are. They don't want other people going to plant them. I don't know how much I really agree with that kind of outlook on life. I think we should be sharing them, but patented so no one else can grow them. It's pretty crazy. So I'm going to show you what else we got in the house right here. But before I do, I just want to let you know what I'm working on right now. I'm working on this big thing, organic orange juice right now. All right, I'll flip the camera around and show you what else we got. We've got a nice big pomelo. It's like a massive grapefruit if you've never had them before. We got some avocados right from the tree still got the stem on them got some mangoes we got bananas we've got pineapples and uh, we've got heaps of citrus a lot of citrus here local citrus and then those honey cream pineapples we've got a lot of tomatoes we absolutely love tomatoes here more mangoes cucumbers cucumbers we use as dip we got some go raw pumpkin seeds I love those chickpeas for um, the people who eat chickpeas, not mine. And then we got apples, love organic apples. Super crunchy, super sweet, super delicious. More bananas, organic, uh, tomatoes. More avocados, these are nice and ripe. And then over here is like the snack shelf. It's like seaweeds, it's like uh, sea snack seaweed, like uh, nori, that's what it's called. Nori, get some veggie chips, kale veggie chips. Um, and then we got just more nori. Uh, it's about that. That's compost. And then we've got this kavita. So a lot of people talk about the benefits of kombucha. I don't like kombucha because I don't like the caffeine in there. But kavita, bro, can you tell me what kavita is? What's in there? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sparkling water. Water kefir culture, which is water, lactic acid, kefir culture, natural flavor. And then it has coconut water concentrate, apple cider vinegar, lactic acid, coconut flavor, mojito flavor, and a bunch of different friendly bacteria. And what's the point of drinking it? It's just to help to um, replenish your gut, your digestive system. And what's that you're holding there? This is some probi probiotic powder. For the same purpose? Same purpose, bro. Nice. Yeah, really good stuff. And then here we've got some cold press. I believe it's cold press, right? This one's cold press, yeah, cold press carrot juice and cold press ginger rush. Never tried those, but they look really, really good. So cold press means not pasteurized. Can, yeah, do you want to know what's in here? This looks pretty epic, actually. It's got, let's see, purified water, ginger juice, fresh lemon, fresh lemon juice, fresh lime juice, cane sugar juice, and cayenne pepper. And that one? This one? Only one ingredient in this one. 100% carrot juice. Wow. Fresh pressed. Show us the fridge, bro. Want to see the fridge? What do we got? What do we got in the fridge? It's a little oh. spicy, bro. It's spicy it's... in there. Damn, oh, what is out. this? That's the bomb. Is that legal? That's the bomb, bro. Just pre-made guac from Whole Foods. Shout out Whole Foods. We got romaine lettuce. We got some Asian pears. We got more guacamole. We got butter for the people who eat vegan butter, not me. We got celery for dipping in the guac. More lettuce, tons of citrus, grapes, uh, some raisins, some peas, uh, baby spinach, and spring mix, and some more go raw sprouted pumpkin seeds. These are really damn good. And then some snacks, power snacks. So that was that. Now you know what we've got stocked up in the kitchen. And if you're wondering why my voice sounds a little off, it's because ever since the fast, I've had something in my throat. It's been causing me to cough a bit and feel like I got a bit of a sore throat. So that's really interesting. 
I thought that maybe after a seven day water fast, you'd never feel any illnesses whatsoever. But turns out, even if you do a water fast, you know, you can still catch some bug or bacteria that's floating around or your body's just going through some other level of detox that you normally hadn't before. So that's interesting, but just doing my best to flush it out with some orange juice and some high quality fruit as you just saw. And still enjoy and still enjoy some of the occasional raw food snacks here and there. So hope you got something out of this video. Hope you now see exactly what I stock up on. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. Have a great day. Peace out. Much love.